Bharat Electronics Limited is developing a top secret radar named Sastra that would be capable of tracking stealth fighter jets. After several years of grounding, Indian Air Force's fleet of Mi-26 heavy lift helicopters have started undergoing a comprehensive overhaul at the number no. 3 base repair depot with crucial assistance from Russian engineers that will be delivered between the end of 2024 and early 2026. Lake Wireless has successfully demonstrated the capabilities of its software-defined radio with advanced low probability of intercept radios to the Indian Army. Chennai-based Big Bang Boom Solutions is in advanced negotiations with the UK-based company for the export of its innovative see-through armor system that is designed to provide tank crews with a 360-degree view of their surroundings. MRF India has unveiled its latest aero muscle tire that is specifically designed for the upcoming Tejas Mark II and is engineered to withstand heightened speeds loads and demanding operational conditions. Japan is all set to supply unicorn stealth naval ship antennas to India, and the deal will be announced at the India-Japan 2 plus 2 ministerial meeting in New Delhi tomorrow. The Indian Air Force has said that it is closely following Pakistan's stepped-up plans to acquire Chinese J-31 stealth fighter, and that necessary countermeasures will be taken. Experts have said that India needs to integrate Indo-atmospheric interceptor missiles into its warships and aircraft carriers to create a protective shield around the carrier group against the Chinese 1,500 km range DF-21D anti-ship ballistic missile. Industry sources have said that General Electric anticipates improvement by mid-2025, but achieving an annual production rate of 16 engines is not expected until the end of 2025, and normal operations will resume only in 2026. Indian Air Force's proposal for 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A aircraft hinges directly on GE's ability to deliver at least 24 F-404 engines annually from 2026 onwards. If General Electric commits to this revised timeline, the deal for 97 Tejas Mark 1A could be finalized by the end of 2024, however, if engine production increase by 2026 proves unfeasible, the Air Force might be forced to delay the procurement. The Royal Malaysian Air Force has expressed keen interest in acquiring India's BrahMos air-launched cruise missile to bolster its Su-30 MKM fighter jets. Malaysia is looking at the variant that has a speed of Mach 3 and a range of 290 km, that will come as a significant upgrade for its naval strike capabilities. If the deal materializes, the Royal Malaysian Air Force will have to engage Hindustan Aeronautics to carry out structural hardening process for carrying the 2.5-ton missile. The DRDO chief has said that the DRDO is actively engaged in developing an integrated combat suite for India's upcoming submarine programs that will offer enhanced capabilities in underwater surveillance and communication. While specifics about the target submarine platform were not disclosed, it is widely believed that the integrated combat suite is being developed for both the Project 75I conventional submarines and Project 77 nuclear-powered attack submarines. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has offered its 155mm 52 caliber Danush towed gun system for the Indian Army's 400 towed gun system tender, which is an upgraded version of the Danush 155mm 45 caliber system, which faced significant four-year delay and several quality control issues during its development. In order to avoid the same mistakes, Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has now invited reputed private sector companies like Tata and LNT to join the program. Today's top 3 comments.